Hello again and welcome to Gaia Images. So eventually I went ahead and I got myself one of these air wheels which is basically an electric wheel. Um, I've done a small time lapse here just to give you an idea of what comes in the box. Now this particular model uh, made by air wheel is around about 13 kilograms. It's quite a hefty thing but very very well made. So as soon as you switch it on it's self balancing um, when you lean forward it goes forward, when you lean backwards it goes backwards, okay? Pretty straightforward, but it does take an awful lot to learn how to use this, which I'm going to show you in a short video. I'm just showing you the wheels here, which are pretty solid and you can have these replaced quite easily. It comes with a charger, which you plug in. The charger uh, head has three pins, so you just simply plug it in and screw it in as so. Now to fully charge this, it takes only around about three hours. It's pretty miraculous how quickly you can charge this and get back on it and off you go again. Now as for the power adapter, it just simply goes from red to green when it's fully charged. So, how to actually use one of these air wheels? Well, simply you pull out the wings at the side. I call them the wings, they're actually little platforms that you stand on. Switch it on so it becomes self-balancing. What I'd recommend you do here is use crutches or umbrellas to help you balance. Simply jump on and support yourself. And treat this very, very, very carefully. Take your time. You lean forward, you lean backwards. You get a feel of where the balance is in your body. And don't forget that you've got your crutches there or the two brollies to give you that support. As I said, lean forwards, lean backwards, rock your legs. Remember you've got the support so you're not going to fall. And when you're ready, slowly start to lean forward and you'll start to find your place of balance and your confidence will very, very quickly start to grow. After a while, you'll start to be able to move around. Now I'm doing this on grass here because, you know, if you take a fall, it's a lot softer and more forgiving on grass than it is on concrete. I'm going around in my garden and these air wheels, particularly the ones with the two wheels, can really go over quite rough terrain. I would be careful by the way, certainly on tracks, that you don't go over glass because you don't want to burst the wheels. Now this is a local park, so I've got an awful lot of space. I'm going to imagine that I've built up my confidence. I've thrown away the, the crutches or the, the brolly and I'm flying away here. I'm using an Insta360 camera here to give you a, a full perspective of what's going on around me. As you get going on the air wheel, you can pick up quite a bit of speed. It goes up to around about 10 to 12 miles an hour, so it says in the description anyway. After a while, your confidence really builds up and it's quite exciting to be honest, it's almost like you are floating off the ground and the ride is really really quite smooth. Once you've progressed from this, I would suggest you then go on to a hard track, but only if you're really really comfortable. Remember you don't have to go too fast, if you lean forward you pick up speed, if you go too far forward it makes a beeping sound and in actual fact it, it's designed to pull you backwards up to a straight position. Now as you can see I'm progressed even further and I'm picking up a bit of speed. It really won't take long at all before your confidence really builds up and then you'll gradually be able to go over um, bumps like I've just done there or what do they call them, sleeping policemen. This is a local track that I go on quite regular. And you can see I'm picking up quite a bit of speed here and I'm not going to its full pace. I think the camera actually makes it look faster than what it is. And I'm going to go over another sleeping policeman again here. Watch how steady it is. Very simple. A little bit wobbly, and then off I go again. So folks, that's how you ride an electric wheel. Pretty straightforward, really. Don't forget to use crutches, or a walking stick, or two brollies to give you the support that you need. Best of luck. Thank you.